Alright, so here's another video in the Zephyr cycle. This is how to program a locomotive. This is my CSX locomotive, obviously. It is running number 2623, which is what we're going to change the running number to from 03, which is the factory setting. And so first, you want to press the Program and Mode button. It will come up with DIR. Now you want to click Loco. It's probably going to come up with AD2. So click Loco again, and it will go to AD4. That will allow us to program four numbers into it instead of only two to three, or one to two to three. Four will allow us to do all of them, one, two, three, or four. And obviously we want four numbers because it's going to be two, six, two, three. So from there, we want to click CVRD. It's going to blink a few times and come up with the number that, the, that your locomotive is. Mine is 0003. It's the factory setting. So now, you want to click in the number that you are setting your locomotive to. Mine is 2623. So that will come up across the screen. And now, you click CVWR. It will blink a few times, or once in my case. I don't feel like the locomotive acknowledged that. Okay, there we go. That time I acknowledged it, it made a noise. It was like zzz, zzz. sounded like a almost like a computer trying to load, I guess. And now you click exit. And now you want to take the cables from the red or the red and black cables from program G A and program G B and put them in track or I mean oh my gosh. Why did that happen? Oh. Mm -hmm. Actually, I had track power on. Um, and now, so you slide those in. And turn the power on. Or no, don't turn the power on. Um, screw those in first. I don't know where I'm going with this. Right now, power. And now, you want to do this. Loco. Two, six, two, three. Loco. And now, turn on the lights. Yay, the reverse lights turned on. All right. See? I can flash them. You can just see them right there. Uh, I would move it, but I don't think that I have enough track. I'll just try to move it a little bit if I move it back. So forward, and now let's turn the throttle up just a little bit. And it is moving on the number 2623. So now, let's just turn on the brake, turn off the power, loco 03, loco, I guess we didn't have to turn off the track power. And now forward, I can play around all I want with that, it is never going to move it. So, that is how to use the Digitrack Zephyr to program a locomotive. And next, uh, not really much to do after this uh, on it because I don't really have any of the other functions like smoke or sound. Those will probably be videos of themselves. So I guess for now that's really it on the Zephyr cycle. Um, so, alright, bye.